Good afternoon. It's uh, January 1st, 2022, uh, and my name is Lori Hooks, and this is my introductory video. So, first of all, a little bit about myself. Um, uh, this is my first time doing YouTube. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, it's been something I've been thinking about doing for a while, but I keep putting it off more because I'm nervous than anything else. Um, and kind of decided a few days ago uh, that I wanted to get on, like kind of make some goals. And this was kind of my biggest goal for this year was to actually get on this and start it. So here we are and we're taking a stab at it and we'll see how it works out. <laughs> so um, it's a gloomy day here in Ontario, Canada. Um, mild for January 1st, but I find usually when it's gloomy, like super gloomy, it's more mild. When it's super sunny, it's cold. And I, I'm in Southern Ontario, so it's not crazy cold, but it's plenty cold for me. I don't really enjoy winter. I more enjoy summer, but that's my preference. Um, but you get, you get it all here. That's just the way that it is. So for my channel, my intentions is um, this is going to be more of a crochet channel, maybe some vlogging, that kind of thing. Um, I'll go back in my crochet history a little bit. Um, my grandmother taught me to knit and crochet when I was a young girl. Uh, she taught me knit first because that's what she liked. Um, you know, these two needles that would get caught underneath my arm. Uh, and I made... Um, I think my first thing I made was like a scarf or like a doll uh, or Barbie maybe. Um, and I just remember this little scarf with dropped stitches and it was all uneven. And I've always been a little OCD that I like things to be perfect. So I really didn't enjoy making this uneven little scarf that I made. And so I... Um, I did a couple other things, tried a few other things. It was the same thing. Like I would keep dropping stitches and I couldn't find them. And I quit knitting for that reason very quickly. Um, so then when my, when I was pregnant with my son, which my son will be 26 soon. So that was 26 years ago. I asked my grandmother for help to crochet a, a blanket. Um, and we went to the store and purchased some yarn and it was a, I believe, a double crochet blanket. Um, I need to pull it back out and show you guys sometime. But yeah, it's 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 a small baby blanket. Um, she showed me how to create a foundation row and to uh, do the initial stitches, and I made it to the size that I wanted it to be. And then I brought it back to her, and she helped me with the border. I'm kind of thinking maybe she did the border for me actually. I don't remember for sure it's too long ago um but i did not work off of the pattern it was just something that she helped me with and um i made that for him and then i i dabbled a little bit here and there i would i made a couple granny blankets um you know i get the blanket out i work on it for a few weeks i put it away i get bored um and then i wouldn't work on it for a long time uh the last one that i started back in that time I remember I bought these massive balls of red heart yarn and they were just a tangled up mess and I put it away for that reason um, that I just was not interested in untangling this gigantic ball of yarn and so I, I quit at that point. I probably didn't crochet for about 15 years and then back in I believe it was 2018 I decided that I wanted to crochet again and so I couldn't remember how and um, my gram wasn't here anymore to help me so what do we do when we want to learn something we go to YouTube so I remember uh, looking up YouTube videos and it was a Marley bird video was the first one that I made and I made a blanket and it was a double crochet blanket um, it's pretty tattered been washed many times I think my dogs use it more than people do um, but yeah that was my Thing that I made then and I think I've been crocheting almost daily and nowadays daily ever since. Um, 
crochet in the morning when I get up while I drink my coffee if I have time. Um, I crochet at night while I watch TV. It's what I do to de-stress. It's what I do in my spare time. And nowadays, while I crochet, I watch my fellow YouTubers with their crochet videos talking about the wonderful things that they create. And um, I so enjoy watching all everyone on YouTube and, um, you know, it's just, I feel like we have an art that we do. It's a fantastic thing. And so I wanted to share as well. So here we are. So in terms of things I like to make, I like to make blankets. Um, it's got to be an intricate thing enough that I don't get bored because I do get bored pretty easily. If I give you the list of whips that I have right now, it's pretty long. Um, and a lot of them have been dormant for a long time. So it's something I need to, it's one of my 2022 goals is to get these dormant blankets out and get them finished because I have been ignoring them for quite some time. Um, but I'm going to talk about some stuff that I'm working on today rather than the dormant stuff. So what I'm working on today. Um, this is my main project that I'm working on right now. So this is a, uh, the snowbound sweater from Make and Do Crew. This sweater, this pattern is available for free on their website. Um, I did want to print it out, so I purchased the pattern on Etsy. Um, I don't believe there's a YouTube video for this, except for possibly, well, there is an introductory video for the sweater. It's like a couple minutes long, but I don't believe there's a tutorial for this. I think it was just an introductory, um, but I did purchase the pattern on, the, on Etsy because I wanted to print it out but the full thing's available on their website. So I didn't bring my crochet hooks down here, um, but here is my sweater so far, and I'm using the recommended hooks. I started out um, making the sweater in a medium, so the, the neck is the medium size for the neck. Um, and when I got to just past the sleeve hole, so I would say about here, I tried it on and it was it was too baggy in the shoulders and I had too much width. So I decided to tear out to the first row um, past the ribbing in the neck and start again. So, but I didn't want to have to redo this first row because it's, I hate doing those first rows in afterwards. So I, I tore out to here and I started again. So the ribbing is a 6.5 millimeter hook, which is the recommended hook and I'm using the recommended yarn also, and the body of the sweater is an 8.0 hook, and I'm using my preferred hook at hooks, which are my clovers. Um, I did not bring my hooks down with me, unfortunately, but here's my yarn. So um, I'm using, the, again, it was a recommended yarn, which is Lion Brand Heartland, and this color that I'm using is White Sands. Uh, that was the top color. And the next color I'm using, which is a part I'm working on now, is conga gris. I'm not sure if that's correct pronunciation, but that's what I'm going to call it. Conga gris. Anyways, um, so that's the middle color. And this will be the bottom section color, which is Rocky Mountains. And I purchased these a few days ago from my local Michaels. Um, they are on sale for 30% off or something it was their Boxing Week sale. Um, so it wasn't a bad price and I'm, it's my first time using Heartland. I like the yarn, it's very soft and I'm enjoying it. Um, if you want the stats on the yarn, it is a medium four weight, uh, 251 yards per ball. And I would say it's true to size, um, maybe a thicker, heavier four than some, you know. I would say it's pretty true for. It's very soft though, um, squishy, enjoyable to work with, slides through your fingers nicely. I'm enjoying it. So that is my main project I'm working on right now. And my second project that I have here in my bag is um, a little amigurumi that I'm making for my daughter. So uh, I did not print this one out. Um, there is a paid pattern on Ravelry, but I did not 
I've been just working on off the website because it's just a really small thing. So this is going to be a Baymax doll. If you don't know who Baymax is, he's a character in Big Hero 6. Um, it's a movie that my daughter really likes, and I, I like making little toys for her. It's something that she keeps around, and she clearly enjoys them, so I, I like making her some little stuff. So this is going to be a Baymax doll. It's about, we're about halfway through his head right now. Um, and this is from Sweet Softies website. Um, I think this is the first time I've made something off of their website, but I'm not really sure, 100% sure. I wasn't really looking for this. I kind of came across it and saw it and thought, oh, my daughter likes Baymax and thought, oh, I'll make one of these. And I just had a box, bottle, uh, a ball of leftover white that I'm using. This is probably... Um, Bernat Premium, I'm guessing, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and the recommended hook was smaller than the one I'm using. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. I believe the recommended hook was 2.75, and I didn't think that it needed to be that tight. And I, I tend to find if I use a really small hook, I, it's not as relaxing to work on. So I, I went up a little bit because the holes in it don't seem too big to me. So... That's what I decided to, and it'll come, it'll come out a little bit bigger, and that's okay. But anyways, that's what I'm working on today. So, if you have enjoyed your vi my video, I'd appreciate it if you'd like. If you'd like to leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you have a channel, um, I might be following you already, but if you'd like to let me know, I'll be sure to subscribe. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that. Um, and if you have any constructive criticism, I'd love to hear that as well. And anyways, have a good rest of your day and a very happy new year. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.